For quite literally over a year now, people have been speculating left, right, and center on AMD's upcoming seven nanometer CPUs and also their upcoming seven nanometer GPUs on the Navi architecture. So after CES this year in Las Vegas, we got a glimpse of seven nanometer from the Vega architecture on the Radeon 7. And I feel like the Radeon 7 did and didn't deliver. What we saw though out of that was that seven nanometer was for real. The power efficiency gains of Radeon 7 over the previous generation Vega cards was actually quite big. However, we'll talk about efficiency later and why it's so important for the business and AMD in particular. But with that said, we've got the Computex announcement. This is the official press release that we are going to finally see details on the Ryzen 3000 CPUs. And we're also gonna see details of the upcoming Navi GPUs. So this is the letter here. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Since for me personally, I love reading the official news now. I think rumors have got to the point where they're actually just causing me a lot of headaches personally. And as we saw with the Nvidia GPUs last year, practically no one got that right until right before the launch and that everyone was speculating that it'd either be a GTX 1180 or a GTX 2080 and myself included because Nvidia were just so tight lipped on what they were leaking to the public. And one thing for sure is, is that this trend has been continuing with AMD as well. When I spoke to the AMD guys last year at the event, they assured me that they were cracking down on leaks big time. And honestly, I believe we saw this early in the year where no one predicted what would exactly come out of CES to the T. But anyway guys, with that said, let's go through this letter and all the juicy details that you can expect to be released on May 27th. AMD President and CEO Dr. Lisa Suda deliver Computex 2019 CEO keynote on new high performance computing technologies. April 2nd, 2019, Taipei. Taiwan External Trade Development Council, TITRA, announced today that the 2019 Computex International Press Conference will be held with a keynote by AMD President and CEO, Dr. Lisa Su. The 2019 Computex International Press Conference and CEO keynote is scheduled for Monday, May 27th at 10 a.m. in, I can't disclose the location, of the Taipei International Convention Center in Taipei, Taiwan, with the keynote topic, the next generation of high performance computing. Computex, as one of the global leading technology trade shows, has continued to advance with the times for more than 30 years. This year, for the first time, a keynote speech will be held at the pre-show international press conference, said Mr. Walter Yi, president and CEO of Titra. Dr. Lisa Su received a special invitation to share insights about the next generation of high performance computing. We look forward to her participation, attracting more companies to participate in Computex, bringing the latest industry insights and jointly sharing the infinite possibilities of the technology ecosystem on this global stage. As the first CEO keynote speaker at the Computex press conference, Dr. Lisa Su said, as one of the most important global events for our industry, I look forward to Computex each year. I am honored to deliver the opening keynote this year and provide new details about the next generation of high performance AMD platforms and products. With our partners, we will tell the story of how leading edge technologies and an open ecosystem are driving an inflection point in computing and industry innovation and positively impacting several important markets. Under the leadership of Dr. Lisa Su, AMD continues to grow and excel in the field of high performance computing, graphics, and visualization technologies. The latest AMD products released include the world's first seven nanometer gaming GPU and first seven nanometer data center GPU, AMD Radeon Instinct MI60. And here it is, the big one right here. Upcoming products include seven nanometer AMD Epic data center processors, third gen AMD Ryzen desktop processors, and graphics cards based on the next generation Navi architecture, all of which are designed to create exceptional experiences for gamers and creators, as well as help solve many of the toughest challenges in our lives. During the CEO keynote, Dr. Sue and other high profile guests will highlight new details of upcoming products and showcase how the industry is building a new high performance computing ecosystem that will push technology to the next level. Computex 2019 continues its position of building global technology ecosystems from May 28th to June 1st, 2019, hosting 1,685 exhibitors across 5,508 exhibition booths, focusing on the latest tech trends such as AI and IoT, 5G, blockchain, innovations and startups, and gaming and XR. 
The 2019 show aims to inspire more innovative technologies and market opportunities to create a new ICT ecosystem. So there is the official announcement itself. I've RSVP'd for this event. I'll be covering it for you guys at Computex. I'm super excited about this one because it brings a clean break for AMD to bring out something that the competitors haven't yet. And that's a seven nanometer CPU, but also on the same token, a seven nanometer GPU with a new architecture geared up towards the latest and greatest games. So this is a real big one for tech enthusiasts, but of course it remains to be seen exactly what specifications we're going to get. I've heard rumors about this site. Can you run it? showing the uh, latest AMD CPU specs. But when I examined that site closer, it was literally listing two of the exact same models as a six core and an eight core CPU. So if it's anything, rumors like these really don't hold any weight to me. I'm gonna wait for the official announcements, which when they do come out of Computex, you guys will know straight away from this channel right here, and it will be the cold hard truth. But as for Computex itself, I literally consider this the best event for tech enthusiasts and a lot of other tech tubers will agree. Even though you have to fly internationally to get there for most tech tubers, it is just one really good event with so much enthusiast tech, so many new concepts, so many custom builds, and now it's gonna have some really groundbreaking announcements to take place as well. But now as I hinted in the intro about efficiency, it's time to talk about that a little bit more in depth because it's so important for companies like AMD, Nvidia, and Intel to actually focus on winning the efficiency race. And you're probably stopping there and you're thinking, well, that doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't they have the best performing product? And the answer to that is kind of yes and no. Of course, they do want the flagship product to say that they have the best performance in the market. But at the same time, when you think about it, let's take, for example, a 1660 Ti that was recently released from Nvidia. This card is the most efficient GPU out there in that it gets the best performance per watt currently in the market for mid-range gaming. And why that efficiency is so important for AMD, Intel, and Nvidia is that when we look at that 1660 Ti, not only is the performance pretty good for the price, but it now costs Nvidia a lot less to make it than if the competitor isn't getting as good efficiency. Because think about it, right? They now need to put less MOSFETs, make a smaller PCB, use less silicon, use less chokes. And that also in turn allows budget oriented users to get away with using lower rated power supplies, for example. And so this in turn helps the said company to then make more profits, invest more in R&D, and so that enables them to make better architectures for the future, but also step down the node size and increase the R&D budget to extract more efficiency. So now in relation to the AMD 3000 series CPUs, it's a big step because what we saw at CES was huge efficiency improvements. At least from the Cinebench benchmark that we saw and that they were posting, it was really good efficiency to the point where it was beating out a 9900K. Now at Computex this year, the truth will all be revealed, but it's already looking really good for that seven nanometer play on the CPU side. If efficiency is really good, it enables augmented things like motherboard prices to then come down, which then enables motherboard manufacturers to use less components, which then brings down the prices of motherboards too, and makes their whole new generation even more attractive. But the benefits don't stop there. As we said with the GPU example, it then enables them to use less silicon and extract more performance. But at the same time, it enables places like data centers to extract more value out of these CPUs, getting more performance using less power and at the same time, less overhead costs in the actual buildup of the whole infrastructure itself. But whatever the outcome, we know the Ryzen 3000 series chips are definitely going to deliver at Computex. As for the Navi GPUs, that's really remaining a mystery at the moment. I honestly don't know if it's gonna be a mid-range GPU, if they're gonna start out with a high-range GPU. Rumors have it that it's gonna be a mid-range GPU, possibly even a 3000 series moniker, just like the CPUs, to then one-up Nvidia's 2000 series GPUs. Who knows, it's all up in the air. As for the performance of the GPUs on Navi, I'm just gonna wait for the Computex announcement and I'm just letting you guys know that May 27th is when I'm really gonna be opening up my eyes and listening. Until then, we're just gonna keep hearing guys who apparently get information from a source of 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 a source. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let us know in the comments section below, will you be going to Computex or will you be tuning in to the coverage? Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. And what do you think about the new upcoming Ryzen 3000 CPUs? Also, what do you think the Navi GPUs would be called? Actually thinking about it, I think Navi 3000 actually has a good ring to it. Who knows what AMD is going to do, but May 27th is the date to keep on your calendar. And with that said, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.